so let me give you a picture of, uh, of uh, how a generic and complex optimization problem may be thought of. Uh, essentially, we have defined a goal function and we have constraints. What this gives us is a space of potential solutions. Let's think of this space. Actually, this space is multidimensional. It may be a thousand dimensions, but let's just think of it, or a million dimensions. But let's, let's just think of it as two-dimensional. So I have two parameters, this direction and that direction, and I want to find the best solution on those two parameters. Then we may think of the world as a landscape. So essentially, given the longitude, so my two parameters are longitude and latitude. Remember again, in real world, we, are, we don't have longitude and latitude, we have millions of parameters. But let's say we only have two, longitude and latitude. And I want to find the, how, the highest mountain. That's a way to look at, at optimization. So on the planet Earth, we know the solution, right? The parameters are longitude and latitude, and we know there is a highest mountain somewhere. But suppose we didn't know the solution. How could we find it? That's the task of actually writing an optimization algorithm. And there are many ways to do it. Smart and less smart. And a typical one is called local search, which means that what you do is you start at one point and you go uphill. What is most uphill? And you go uphill and you go uphill until you reach the top. And once you stand there, you try, you try to look, at, look around. If you can see something which is more uphill in your neighborhood, and then you fly there. And then, and, then, and, then, and then you stand there and see, is there anything more uphill? If you can't see anything, you may stop. Or you may say, okay, now I found this. This is a local optimum. Now I try somewhere else. So I fly to a random place on the planet, and I start to go uphill. And I repeat the same. And if I do this a lot, I will, of course, sooner or later, I, I, I will find Mount Everest. And I may, may be happy. But of course, there may be much more smarter way of doing it. But this is just my attempt to simply explain what optimization could be viewed as and what is one potential algorithm for doing it.